Beach clubs in Bali. You're probably wondering, what's up with these beach clubs? Well, you know how five-star hotels have really amazing pools and restaurants and lounging areas and like really fancy pool bars? It's essentially that, but there's no five-star hotel. They're just standalone and detached and anybody can go. Most of them you can walk in the door without paying a dime, but if you want to actually sit down somewhere other than a restaurant and a bar, like the lounging areas, to get a day bed, there's a minimum spin. So the more expensive ones are $42 per day and the cheapest we could find was like $10 per day. In this video, you're gonna see the four most popular in Seminyak. They're all very unique and different vibes to them, which you'll see. Uh, it's just a really cool thing to do with your day if you're in Seminyak, Bali. And our favorite beach club in Seminyak involves backflips. We're gonna go check out these day clubs that they have in Bali. We're not really sure what they are. We don't really have a concept of it. In Jimmy's mind, is a bunch of people because they have these day beds. So I picture all these people like laying with covers over them and pillows and sleeping. I don't think that's what it is, but we're gonna go find out. Let's, let's go, come on. We're going clubbing. Yeah. Okay, we left. We left Finns, we decided not to stay. Basically, uh, it's very nice, uh, cool place, a lot of places to chill, nice swimming pools, nice decor and design and everything. It's just we can't just lay around and do nothing and that seems like that's all there is to do at Finns. The day beds are like $42 per person and that's the minimum spend that you have to spend on drinks and food if you wanna hang out in one of their beds. Really nice though, some of them are on the water, some are right next to the pool. So if you want to hang out for a full day, definitely a full day to get your money's worth, I would say you could probably go to Finn's. I didn't like that they made us pour out our water and they wouldn't let me bring this camera in so we had to shoot everything on Maggie's camera, which is not a problem, but I was like, come on, it's not a professional camera. Pro tip, if you don't want to spend $42 to hang out, you could totally go in and it's free access. You want to hang out in the pool and like get a beer for three bucks at the bar and you can just get a locker also for $3. I don't know if they would stop you from laying out a towel and just chilling by the pool. They'd probably ask you to get a day bed, but we just feel like $42 for a place to lie around is a bit much for our blood. Maybe not you. Maybe you're super wealthy. Maybe you buy a lot of Bitcoin back in the day. I don't know. We just got the Potato Head, another really cool beach day club in Bali. Already the vibes are way better. We're headed to get pizza. I'm pretty excited about all the design and just the like architecture around here. It's everything's cool to look at and really pretty. So I'm like, oh, look at this. Potato Head. We're Potato Head now. Way cooler vibe than Finn's. So whereas Finn's was like $42 per person for a day bed, here they had day beds for up to six people that cost $70. So if you do the math, not nearly as expensive. And they have beds for maximum three people. And I would say you have to come early here because they're all full and there's a waiting list, like a three hour waiting list to get a day bed. So clearly this place is popping. It's not as big as Finn's, it doesn't seem as fancy as Finn's, but it has a really cool chill vibe like you'd expect in Bali. So yeah, this is day beach club number two and we're gonna crush some pizza and then we might get not their swimming pool down there, right down there. We were gonna get in the pool after the pizza, but then we saw that another beach club, Mississippi, not mistaken with the state Mississippi, but like a lady who's married to a man whose last name is Sippy, is like a five minute walk away. So we're gonna go check that out instead. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
we're leaving, we're leaving Mississippi now, which I like to call the Backflip Academy. Um, really, really cool. My favorite beach club so far. What I'll tell you is that it does cost $7 just to get in, whereas the other beach clubs we can just walk straight in. So they do have a price of admission. However, the day beds are pretty cheap, $35 for two people. So do the math on that. And it's like one of the cheapest day beds you can get around here. And they have diving boards. So that's just the best thing ever because diving boards. So I recommend going there. Definitely if you have friends and you don't want to just lay around because some of your more uh, aggressive friends will probably get up on that diving board and do some things that they will regret and you will be able to laugh about. So we're walking to Kudata now from Mississippi. It's about a 10 minute walk. They have really nice sunsets at Kudata, so we're gonna check that out, have some drinks, and enjoy the sun setting from the wonderful Bali weather. So Kudata has a lot of nice restaurants and bars and rooftop restaurants. But like Maggie said, the day beds are free because they're not really about that, that pool vibe. I wouldn't come here and hang out all day, but people definitely flood this place for sunset, for dinner. If you want to eat at the restaurant, you have to have a reservation. It's a nice place to spend your evening, but not like an all day pool party type place like the rest of the beach clubs. So the fact that uh, Potato Head, Mississippi, and Kudata are all within like five to 10 minutes of each other walking, it's perfect if you want to start with one in the morning. Go to Mississippi when you're awake and you're ready to do some backflips and then come here to have some cocktails because your back hurts because you're not good at backflips just yet. Okay, we're headed home. Uh, that was Kudata. Now you've seen all four of the top four beach clubs, day clubs in Bali and Simanyak. That's kind of where they are. Uh, they're all good. Not a single one of them is bad. Honestly though, our favorite is Mississippi because we have an adrenaline problem and backflips with cocktails. You can never go wrong. Yeah, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. If you did like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you love the video, you should subscribe. If you are a subscriber, thanks for watching and we're gonna continue adventuring and documenting it with this camera. Okay, bye.